Welcome to Midcard Maniacs, my name is Jay, and in this video we'll explore the career of the machine, Ryan Cage. Yep. Ryan Christopher Button was born in Fresno, California on February 2nd, 1984. As a kid, Cage watched wrestling on television religiously and knew he wanted to be a wrestler from the start. But Cage wasn't always so large and in charge. In fact, he stated he graduated high school at 154 pounds. He wanted to attend a wrestling academy, but thought he was too small to compete. So he spent every Monday through Thursday during the summer after graduation, jogging to his old high school where his phys ed teacher would open up the doors and let him work out. As Brian continued to build muscle, he started competing as a bodybuilder right after high school, eventually becoming a Body Spartan member. Because I refuse to be average. During the same time, Cage attended a wrestling show in Sacramento, California, and a sign he made was noticed by Chris Canyon. The late wrestler became Cage's biggest wrestling ally, which helped the Swolverine take part in the creation of Main Event Wrestling Federation in Chico. Besides his love for wrestling and fitness, Brian loves pop culture, horror, and comic books, and even starred in a 2015 indie fan film, Fall of Castle Grayskull. You're a fool, Skeletor. Such brave talk. The universe will not allow you to hold the essence of the elders. In 2016, Cage began dating the then Lucha Underground ring announcer Melissa Santos and eventually proposed to her in the middle of the ring at a bar wrestling event. In 2018, they gave birth to their daughter Skylar Faith and in playful Swolverine fashion, Brian joked about naming her X23, which I personally find amazing as not only is Brian Cage my favorite wrestler, but X-23 is also by far my favorite Marvel character. While I don't know many of the details, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Brian Cage also has a son named Noah from a previous relationship. As a big horror fan, Cage has stated that talking about horror with him is a great icebreaker and that his favorite movie of all time is Army of Darkness. He even has a really cool shirt based on the movie poster that ties in other parts of his life, including his wife Melissa, with whom he officially tied the knot with in July 2019. Bringing it back to wrestling, Brian debuted professionally in 2005 and over the years has been trained by Norman Smiley, Tom Pritchard, Chris Canyon, and Oliver John. Cage has performed in over 140 promotions including NWA, PWG, Lucha Underground, Impact, and most recently AEW. Cage even signed with WWE for a short period, moving to FCW in 2008 and then being released quietly in 2009. The Weapon X of the wrestling scene has taken part in nearly a thousand matches and has fought the likes of Ricochet, Austin Aries, The Young Bucks, Ryback, and Drew McIntyre, with his most formidable foe being Willie Mack, who he's faced 38 times. The Chino, California resident has held 24 different titles and currently holds the WSW Tag Team Championships with Flip Gordon as the Flippin' Machines, and until recently, he was the Warrior Wrestling Champion for over 500 days, but had to relinquish the title when he sustained a bicep injury and was not able to defend it. Brian Cage succeeds in so many ways, including winning seven of the 39 tournaments he's been in during his career and snagging countless wrestling related awards, including placing in the PWI Top 500 list six different years. Cage ranked number 48 on the 2019 list, his highest since he started wrestling. Mr. GMSI isn't above working as a team. He's been a member of three different tag teams and five stables, including the unique Fighting Taylor Boys, where Brian went from Brian Cage to Brian Cage Taylor to fit in with the pair of Chuck and Ryan Taylor that much better. The wrestler is open and frank about his involvement in intergender wrestling on the stance that it can be done if done right, and he's fought the likes of Eva Lise, Tessa Blanchard, Candice LeRae, and Chris Statlander. After returning from a bicep injury, Brian Cage finally debuted after months of speculation for AEW at Double or Nothing 2020, winning the first ever casino ladder match, earning him an immediate shot at the world championship against Jon Moxley at Fighter Fest. If you've seen the 268 pound wrestler in character, you can probably immediately guess who he's emulating. 
Cage wrestled under the name of Chris Logan, a name created as an homage to his friend Chris Canyon and the human name of the most popular of X-Men characters, Wolverine. He really leans hard into the character as well, with comic book inspired gear, various superhero inspired headpieces, metal claws he uses to cut open opponents, and hair quaffed in a suspiciously familiar way. Cage has been labeled an all-rounder, known for his strength, good looks, charisma, mic work, skills in the ring, and ability to engage the crowd. His style is best described as powerhouse, not quite as quick as the high flyers, but his strength and stamina make him formidable and hard to keep down. There's multiple theme songs Cage uses in various promotions, including Dream Theater's As I Am on the indie circuit, and Machine by Dale Oliver that he used in Impact. Brian Cage, John Cage, Chris Logan, Nightclaw, The Effing Machine, Mr. GMSI, The Swolverine, Weapon X, Plain Old Cage, whatever you decide to call him, he's dominating the scene. When it comes to Cage's moveset, he has a large set of finishers and signature moves that you would expect from a powerhouse wrestler. Signatures include Chain Link, which is a swinging side slam backbreaker, GMSI, which is a pump handle face buster, and a slew of other insert body part here breakers. His classic finishers include Weapon X, which is a gory special transition into a reverse STO, and then there's the most notable ones with names ripped straight from Marvel vs. Capcom, including Drill Claw, which is a vertical suplex pile driver, and Tornado Claw, a massive discus lariat. Tornado Claw! If you haven't seen the power and strength Cage demonstrates in his work, I can assure you, you should fear the path of Cage. Interested in learning more about the multi-move Paragon? Consider checking out one of the great matches we've linked to in the description below. Featuring wrestlers like Ricochet as Prince Puma, Keith Lee, Sammy Callahan, and AEW's own Cody Rhodes. As always, thanks for watching. Comment below with one of your favorite Brian Cage moments. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything Mid Card Maniacs.